Now that we have unlocked the bootloader of the Moto G4 and we have installed TWRP as the custom recovery, we can now gain root access to the device. Now if you're not sure how to unlock the bootloader, if you're not sure how to install TWRP, or if you're unsure of where to download the Super SU binaries, then be sure to check the description below this video as I will have a link to the full tutorial and in that tutorial I will detail how to do all of that and where to get the Super SU binaries. So once you have the Super SU zip file downloaded to your Moto G4 or Moto G4 Plus, we're going to need to power off the device. And then from here we need to boot up into fast boot mode so that we can boot over into recovery mode. And again, if you're not sure how to boot up into fast boot mode or recovery mode, be sure to check the full tutorial as I detail all of that in the guide. Once we are at the TWRP main menu, we need to tap on the advanced button, then tap on the terminal button. From here we want to type out echo space quotation mark systemless. all in capital letters and then an equal sign and then in lowercase letter letters true and then another quotation mark and then to put a greater than symbol and then forward slash data forward slash dot super su now what this is doing is it is creating a file called .supersu in the data partition with the text systemless equals true. With that done, just press tap on the check mark. And then go ahead and tap on the home button. So once we have prepared for systemless Super SU, we just tap on install, tap on our Super SU beta, swipe the white arrows to the right, And we get a little notice that says, if Twerp offers to install SuperSU, do not let it. Shouldn't be a problem, but there used to be a bug with TWRP that would ask if you wanted to install root access with SuperSU. But once you get the done message, just go ahead and tap on the reboot system button. And it's going to reboot our Moto G4. It'll take us through the typical boot animation sequence. And then it will bring us right back into the regular Android operating system. see we got that first reboot as soon as it hit the Motorola logo and that's okay it will just go through the boot sequence a second time and this time when it boots up 
it will bring us to the Android operating system. And just to check and make sure everything went okay, we can bring up the app drawer and launch the Super SU application. And you can see it did not detect any issues. And we now have root access on the Moto G4 and Moto G4 Plus.